first things first, because just it's like fucking elephant. Like, what the fuck's going on with the world? Dude, I can't even. Yeah, it's just it, everything happened so fast too, dude. The crazy yeah, dude. thing is like when it first happened, I remember like one person posting it, and I was like, oh shit, another one, great. Like I was like, fuck. And then all of a sudden it was just. Like, dude, the next day, snowball. It just, sno I've never seen something snowball so fast. It's fast, bro. It's fast. And then just but to what they are now. It's because everyone's at home not doing shit, bro. Hey, so, exactly. So, you so then, then you think of the People pandemic. Aren't working. Exactly. Now, what, what's going on with the pandemic? You know, that's something I'm, I'm, I'm laughing, like, I'm dying of laughter that, oh, stay at home, stay at home. Boom. And it's such a, like, a two day thing. Every, people are, like, marching next to each other. And when are these cases, when are we gonna hear about these cases? We wanted to just at least, if we were to do anything, it was just it would be more informative. Like, okay, here's more information. Because exactly. we've, we've, we've talked about it a lot in depth, and it's just, it's so, there's so many layers to it, and it's like. It is, there is, man, there is. It is just like, like today I posted like the, the black, black so, Yeah, I, I did too. And I did, I put on my stuff. Yeah. breaking lines as well. And then I did a story, and I was like, I was just like, uh, for like, because everyone's just posting, so I was like a little more proactive. I was just kind of like, uh, if you stand for nothing, you'll fall for anything. And then I'll, I posted a, a little donation thing. Like, if you click it, and don't, like, you'll have to donate. Like, you don't have to, but you could go and donate five bucks to like the bail. Right. Exactly. Yeah, there you go. Something. Exactly. So I'm like, I'm like, all right, good. I did my part. Well, I, I disagree with what's going on, obviously, the justice. It's not so much the cops, per se, it's the system that's being portrayed. And I think that's where, like, why, why is it, why? And so then you have to, pe exactly, you peel back things. And again, like, because I brought you up, I was like, look, I know there's going to be great cops like Brian, for example. You, you think he's going to fucking, you know? And it's not so much... The types of people they there's probably hundreds and a bunch of you but why are there so many of the other and that's the exactly. problem seeing is a, i think my thought is that we're seeing a wave of like these bad cops are a wave of uh the cops of like that that came in through the ranks 10 15 20 years ago that there was a more racist outlook on life true shit what you had to like decrease it a little bit because like the, everyone was moving forward and then fucking president trump jumps in openly says like yeah. racist shit so people are like oh shit he's like me i'm, I'm i feel the same way so like it's it just it, it, it created a, a segue and like people are just a little more liberal a little more like with the racism i don't know dude we're just living in a fucked world yeah it's probably so overly sensitive to like being politically correct like what happened, you know, like why is that? It's like everything you say, you're like, oh my God, you can't, you can't say that. You can't be so, you know, it's like, what? Like I understand there's obviously certain scenarios, but in general, dude, like normal general people are like hyping to tenfold of, that's not pretty correct. You can't say it like that. They're not black, they're African Americans. It's like shit it's like exactly. that. Exactly. Like, well, like, no, I don't but, even know what to call, I don't even know what to call a, a black person. Because I'm everyone's like, oh. I'm not African. Oh, okay. Uh, the black guy. Oh, you're, God, okay. that's true. So you're black American? You're black? I thought, exactly. Yeah. Like, you're American. It's like high end, you know? You look around the world, too. It's, I mean, try, yeah, try doing that somewhere else. But yeah, you see it. It's fuck. Dog. Yeah, we experienced yeah. it firsthand. And I mean, I was even telling Rachel, like, I remember you were telling me stories about how your dad told you how to get into a fight because it will might happen to you because you're Hispanic. And especially yeah, in the part you guys grew up, and I was like, yo, this is... <sighs> yeah, it's just yeah, fucking... It's just, the, the people are just... Every, everyone has their own narrative, you know? And if you look like, let's say, let's say like the Jews, right? Their fucking people went through some horrible shit. But who are, like, the most, like, richest people in the world? Them, bro. They run the whole U.S. Yeah. You know no, I'm saying? Yeah, it's well like, said. So they come in, they educate themselves. They don't, like, dwell on, like, all my people. Or, right. <laughs> right. You know, education camps is that. But look at Asian people. Look at Asian people. Asian people come in and they fucking, instead of being like, oh, work hard, like, work hard and go to school, do this, this, and that. Tighten this community. Like, the black community and even the Hispanic community, bro, they're very, like, just, like, nonchalant. Like, oh, go get a, just work hard. And then it's like, oh, well, we're less fortunate because we're a minority.
But oh, that's not the way. We had know. millions of people like dying, like yeah. off of a virus that we actually have no idea who the enemy is. Yeah. Like something you can't even fucking see is killing people. And it's like you have all these families and all these ner like it's just now. I feel like it's just going to be now back burner. Yeah, it's like, secondary. You, 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 it's yeah, secondary. it's it's the virus is now secondary, which I think is like what the like we've had a bit, like the word pandemic has been only brought up in history on like yeah maybe yeah. a single hand maybe double yeah. if that but you're talking yeah. within this and that's like bro that is insane. And now it's just secondary. Like. And now it's secondary because of this and the like. Yeah, I got buddies from like across Europe and shit who are like, "Yo, are you guys like, are you guys okay over there? Like, is everything all safe? Because I know you guys are going through the quarantine, but then also, what the fuck is going on on the streets? We're like riding in the streets. So yeah, dude, it was wild. Like we were in Sacramento and like Rachel couldn't fall asleep because she was hearing sirens, helicopters. Like, bro, it's just, shit. yeah, it's like actually, and then you got the whole military shit, like in San Diego and LA. Right here. Too. You can see it, yeah, see. But it's a book that I'm reading. Word. I'm about to send it to you. It's yeah. called, uh, I'm gonna teach you how to be rich. Okay. Who's it by? R Ramit, Ramit, something. No, no, I don't think so. It's an Indian dude, but uh, I'll have to send it to you. It's fucking amazing. So, what it does, it, it, it kind of guides you on a six-week process to work on getting rid of your debt, creating a uh, savings account, uh, doing getting like a 401k, and then uh, and saving. So just kind of like then, tactical stuff. Yeah, so it teaches you kind of like what you, like, well, we... Not a lot of us know on finances. Yeah. It kind of like guides you to set yourself up so that in five years you'll be fucking set. And it talks about like how to invest and how like the most minimal that you even if you like right now setting aside fifty bucks. I think one of the challenges was he has a challenge. Well, he had a challenge where it was like uh, save a thousand dollars in thirty days or sixty days, something like that. And people were like, oh, it's like, I barely have enough, blah, blah, blah. but like, he breaks it down. It's like, everybody can do it. Even if it's going to take you six months to save a thousand bucks, like, that's a thousand bucks you're going to have saved, you know? Oh, for sure. Oh, yeah. But <laughs> what's what's <laughs> sad is that I just went through it more just like enjoying, like enjoying it and not really understanding. Dude, if you just put away even 200 bucks, like you're talking even maybe even less than 10% of your income. I could have exactly. saved a shit ton of money, and that's where I, I just blew it. I was like, I definitely shouldn't have gotten a car the way I did. Got a car, paid that. That was a stupid investment. <laughs> Insurance, all this shit, rent, like, yeah. It's just I wish just I knew living, about you know? it. Yeah, you're just living. So you, yeah. the good things that you learn from that, you know, the people that never go through that and then they never realize that their situation, you'll see like what works for you. You're like, dang, this is it. Like in my opinion, I mean, I think anybody and everybody can benefit from that. But do you wow. see someone? And like and you see like let's say you see ten people out of a hundred not wearing masks you're like okay like they're cool so I must be cool and then you then ten other people do it nice thing you know that it's only eighty people wearing it and then I, I just don't know I don't know it's the weirdest thing ever exactly yeah don't we just that. don't we just don't know and it's just there, technically it's still it is still a stay at home order like that's still in yeah. place like that's yeah. Yeah, places are sort of opening up, but it's still like, look, we should. <laughs> and that's what's crazy. Everyone's forgetting that we're in a quarantine. Like, <laughs> you just don't hear about. And I, I get it. Like, I'm not saying what's happening is not shouldn't be talked about, but it's just you take another step back, and it's like, holy shit, there's a pandemic going on as well. I got every emotion right now. You got safety of your family, but then you want to be a politically like fight for something. You obviously don't want to spread anything, but you want to make sure you're hurt. Like, and everything's changing. No one knows anything. Uncertainty is at an all-time high. Like, even, dude, realistically, like, I would feel guilty playing soccer, right? Yeah. And there should be zero spotlight on me right now. Zero. Yeah. Because they're, my life is not being hindered in any way, shape, or form. I, I'm not making millions of dollars that would promote XYZ, and it's like... It just, I don't know, something subconsciously, like morally, I'm like, 
I don't, I want to obviously go back, but I would feel guilty because I'm like, yo, you got people dying in the streets right now who are being hospitalized. You have nurses who've been working nonstop for months to keep people alive yeah. in a pandemic. You're in a pandemic that, dude, like military out now, you have people in the streets, you got a pandemic. Yeah. Like right now, anything can happen. Anything can happen right now. And it's like, for me, I I still train like with Rachel and like one my one buddy just because I try to keep it as controlled as I can. But I still train because it, it is really the only pure bliss I get now. You know, and it's like, just it's like a like a you meditation type thing. Yeah, like it's the one time I can actually escape, and then like I come home and I'm like, holy shit! Like my brothers are still being quarantined. They really don't have anyone. Like my dad's still working here at home. Like. Yeah, it worked, and uh, I got there at 11, and the store closed at 12, and then we barricaded the store. It's in an area that's, like, nicer, like, there shouldn't be no issues, and they they just were like, nope, we're not taking any chances. Like, what, it's dude, like, this is... like, what the fuck, it's, it's like, a, like, in, I feel like we're, like, you know, in, a, like, a, a civil war, basically. Dude, I mean, that's I what like Rachel and I quoted. Right I feel like it might, like, that might, it might just... Yeah, uh, dude, I can, dude, I'm telling you, I can see it already. Like, honestly, a mini civil war is probably. Because you still got Trump still tweeting shit. Like, dude, he's. Oh, he's just, an idiot. It's just gassing. Like, I can't believe the shit he's saying. Like, he's a, and he's like. He's an idiot, though. He's like antagonizing the movement. Is he anonymous? Come Oh, uh, yeah. I'm waiting for some exposure. Did, did you not see that they, they're exposing him saying that, uh, you know that uh, series on Netflix of that uh, billionaire that had like his own private island and he'd take like little girls and rape them out there? Oh my God, no. Yeah, it's on Netflix. But apparently Donald Trump went to those, went with him on some trips and he molested little girls too. And that's what, uh, that's what, uh, Anonymous is, uh, leaking right now. Yeah. I realize how many layers, and I think what's kind of unique about our, because I forgot, what is your age gap between your siblings? With my brother, it's two years, and then my sister is six years. Okay, so you guys are fairly, pretty different, but your brother and yourself are more in the same gen. Your sister's a bit more out. Yeah. But where it's great, it's like me, you know, 27, my brother's four years apart, four years younger than me, and then my sister even four years with them, so eight between yeah. my sister and I. Jesus. And it's so kind of great and unique to hear how we all see the issue. A little differently, yeah? Right? And so, yeah, it was, like, we had a, a very civil, like, things got heated, but in a proactive yes. way. But, yeah, it was interesting. Um, and, again, it's just, like, what's sad is we, talk, we talked about Black Lives Matter, and then all of a sudden it's, I'm thinking, holy shit, did we forget we're in a pandemic? Like, did we just forget that? Yeah, it's secondary now. Yeah, like, what? That's... It blows my mind, bro. I don't I'm fucking blown away. Yeah, no, going through this, seeing the shit on Twitter, like, Hollywood Boulevard just being ransacked by military vehicles, and it's just crazy. I can't even... I'm like, what is fucking life? What we thought existed is nah. gone. It is officially nah. gone. Nah. This world, yeah, now it's... We're living it. We're living in, in, in a fucking change of world. Now, like, I don't know, it's gonna be weird. It's gonna be weird. Yeah. It's like what happened after, like, the recession, after Prohibition, after... Even after 9-11. The world that we live in after 9-11. It's the same shit's gonna happen. Even yeah. after the world that we live in after the Ronnie King riots. Like, it's just like... we the And then, not only are we living through that, we're living through a pandemic, we're living through these riots, Living through this president, like, oh god, like it's just like it's, it's it was just a crazy, it's a crazy time. But I think a, a, a crazy time, but a cool time to be to be living through it. Oh my yeah, god, right? just to be a part of it. Yeah. Exactly, in a sense that like we're living it. We're not for the first time. I feel like we're not gonna just learn about it in the history books. Like we're living this shit right we're now. Actually living it. You're talking dominoes of months, which you think history is built on decades. Yet yeah, we're talking months here, bro. Within months, and that's what's even that's what's even scarier. Is like, dude, you hear hit, you look at history, and it's like decades go on before something so drastic. Yeah. You know, you hear that decade, 
Dude, you're talking like this pandemic should have been the last thing we spoke about for a day. But it's yeah. It's now sure. secondary to a new event that will now be spoken about, which then we'll do. It. Yeah, it's just. It's 2020 I, will go down. Like it, the people will learn about 2020 yeah, history. 100%. It's gonna be. It's gonna be on there. 100%.